Hi, my name's Dieter Smith and we're here today with WK Bikes and CF Motor at the Isle Man TT 2018. So Gary Johnson's just gone out on his WK CF Moto bike for the first practice. So I'm here with Gary Johnson who's just come back from his first practice on the WKCF motorbike. So how did that go for you Gary? We've got some teething problems unfortunately. Uh, we've been working a lot over the winter, uh, we've changed a lot of things, a lot of things are different on the bike. But unfortunately we've got some sort of fueling and airbox problem so uh, a bit of work to do before we go back out on it. Fingers crossed we can get it fixed because at the minute it, you know, it's not quite raceable. Um, you know, we're a bit short on time, that's the only downside. So how are things looking? Do you think you will get this done on time or is it cutting it a bit close now? It's going to be definitely close but hopefully we're going to, we're going to take it to the dyno tomorrow probably and then we're going to start doing some work on it. Um, we're going to have to put some different things on it to help with the fueling and if that all goes well then uh, fingers crossed we've got a bike that we can race. And how are you feeling on yourself? Is it nice to be back out there? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it was a bit of a shock to the system, you know, getting out there. Unfortunately, I went out on my 600 first and we had an engine problem on that. Uh, so that didn't set us up greatly. I've run back to the paddock and uh, we've got on the, uh, the WKCF motorbike and it, it set off well. It's, it's running nice. It always handles brilliantly. Um, but like I say, we've still got to fix things and uh, see what happens. So how long have you been um, racing with the WKCF motorbikes? My first time ever s s really seen the bike and uh, got to sit on it was 2013. Um, and I could see its potential right away. So uh, now we just need to get it to actually show its potential on track. You know, we had a fourth um, in 2015 and we was close to a podium. Uh, the, everybody's moving forward on these bikes and uh, we need to as well. So with the bike itself, do you think it's progressed a lot since the time you first sat and really tried the bike? Definitely progressed, yeah. We, when we first got on it, um, it was a fantastic handling bike. You know, we, well, it wasn't for a start, we, we fixed that and uh, from that point on I've always you know, just uh, praised it for its handling. Uh, we've always just had an electrical issue that's always been a little bit of an Achilles heel for the bike. Um, and we've just got to get to the bottom of it. It's, it's a little bit different taking a bike that's designed to um, go to the shop and back into a race bike. So uh, that's, it, 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 in itself, we're, we're putting so much more horsepower through it, it's causing us problems and uh, we need to fix it. So have you got any more opportunities to get out and practice on the bike or was this the last one before the race? No, we've got some more times. Uh, we've got all week, so it'll probably go out a couple of more times. We've got to get it qualified yet. We've got to do two laps on that. Um, I think, you know, we've work to do, but that's what we're here to do. We've got to get it out there on the racetrack.